Hey guys, hope you're going well. So I'm talking today about the movie Inherent Vice. I feel like this movie has gotten a range of responses from critics, from viewers. People are loving it, people are hating it, and most people are not understanding it. This long-winded, meandering plot down the rabbit hole journey. And I think that you're either in it right away or you will have no idea what is going on which is how you will probably feel regardless even if you are in it all the way you'll have moments where you're not sure what is quite going on but you're you're either willing to go there on that journey and just be immersed in this world and that is really what I found happening to me. <laughs> so, um, tangents aside, uh, yeah, this is a 70s mystery set in Los Angeles. Uh, the story is based off a Thomas Pinchon novel from 2009, and it is a stoner mystery, I guess. It's a genre unto its own. It feels like a crime noir from, say, the 30s, and it's got an absolutely all-star cast with Joaquin Phoenix, Josh Brolin, Owen Wilson, and uh, Joaquin Phoenix is just hilarious. Like I was, I mean, it's not the kind of movie where you're laughing out loud at his antics. Well, I guess you could laugh out loud. I didn't find myself laughing out loud in hysterics at his antics, but I was, it was definitely amusing. Just his mannerisms, his style, he's like high as a kite on drugs, the whole time but taking his role very seriously as being a PI. The plot is entirely convoluted and extremely complicated taking place in the 70s in Los Angeles and Joaquin Phoenix is playing Doc Sportelli and as a PI he's been hired by his ex-lover, his ex-girlfriend to investigate her current boyfriend who is married and some dealings going on with money laundering and drugs. So with a length of 148 minutes, nearly three hours, this is a very, you know, long journey that you're going on. And for me, maybe the payoff at the end of what everything was all about isn't really the best part about the movie. The best part of the movie is going on the journey in the first place, is experiencing these characters through their rose-tinted glasses and their smoky, drug-infused haze of trying to understand what's going on around them. These off-shooting tangents where Doc Sportelli might have been trying to figure out one thing and then gets distracted and this whole other thing happens that was totally out of nowhere. Inherent Vice is definitely a fun ride, though not for everyone, and again, it is a long investment. There were some of my thoughts on the movie. Make sure you leave me comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Also, subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my other movie and TV reviews, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!